And the, the bungee jump instructor said, well, I'm not going to tell you if the cord's attached. You'll be like, no, you need to tell me whether the cord's attached. And it's the same here. So I'm another board a-hole here, and we'll just get into it today because it's kind of a serious topic which you will have seen from the thumbnail and you would have seen from the title of the video. But somebody sent this to me and I read it and I read it and I read it and I thought, do I do a video on it? Do I not do a video on it? And it kind of played on my mind so much. I thought, you know what, screw it, I'm going to do a video on it and hopefully people understand why. Now, look, is this going to be a bit of a PSA? Probably. Am I going to come across like your dad? Probably. If you want more information about PEDs, etc., should you listen to me? No. Uh, the two dudes I think smash it when it comes to that are more plates, more dates, and Greg Doucette. I'm sure there's others, but, you know, they're the ones that come to mind. Uh, but I'm just going to read you the story. We'll go through the story. It features a fitness influencer who was 23 years old and very sadly passed away. But I do have some opinions on the reasons around it, so I thought I'll share it. Even if it helps one person or hits home to one person, then I'll consider that a major success. But yeah, here's the headlines. Now, it reads that she died after treatment to reduce excessive sweating. A 23-year-old fitness influencer from Mexico died last week undergoing a medical procedure to treat excessive sweating. Odalis Santos Mena, 23, passed away on the 7th of July. According to the coroner's report, her death was likely the result of the anesthesia and a steroid she had taken. So, of course, this is the thing I want to focus on when it comes to fitness and PEDs and steroids and everything like that. Skin Care Clinic, Skin Peel, where she received the treatment, claimed she had failed to notify them about taking a steroid, according According to a local publication, she had been offered treatment on social media. Of course, you're going to reach out to people that have loads of followers. She had 150,000. Who likes to sweat, right? Totally can understand that, how it can play on somebody's mind. And we don't need to know about the treatment. But she suffered a cardiac arrest after being athenatized. That's not right at all. General, being put under general anesthesia. And they tried to revive her. They weren't able to do it. And the cause of death was given as the anesthesia itself. Uh, clenbuterol, creatine, and oxandrolone, which I think most people better known as Adivar. So I don't know why they put creatine in there because I very much doubt that contributed to anything. However, what I will say is just because you can buy something naturally over a, a supplement counter doesn't mean that you shouldn't be aware of how it's making you feel. Now look, creatine is pretty safe to take in 99% of all cases. I shouldn't say 99%, that's me talking generally. I'm sure there's actually a specific thing. But again, you are an individual and you are a very specific person. And there's every chance you take a multiple multivitamin and you don't feel well and if that's the case you absolutely should go to a doctor go to a medical professional and talk about it with them because it probably indicates some kind of underlying medical problem that you need to fix and the two things that i want to focus on more are the clenbuterol and the the anavar or the exonadrolone because we'll start with anavar right because i know more about that one. now the first time you hear about anavar which happened to me many many years ago you're like oh my gosh there's a wonder drug out there that's going to make you look really big and ripped and apparently it's got no side effects as long as you take this and take that you're going to be absolutely absolutely fine now i've never done anything like that because it scares the absolute crap out of me because there's heart disease in my family my granddad my dad so i'm like you know what it's just it's just not worth it why gamble with that kind of stuff as i've said time and time again i don't want to be big in a box right i want to be as big and as muscular as ripped as i possibly can but if i'm dead then i can't appreciate it and being alive has to kind of be the number one rule in life but the thing that worries me is that of course i've researched it of course i did and that's what i will say to everyone before you put anything down your gullet be it something that is not kosher or is kosher read up about it read other people's experiences read proper scientific studies so you know what you're doing because everything that i saw was just oh you can just pop anavar like candy and you should take it in these really high dosages and you'll you'll be absolutely fine and of course that's not true but even if it's true from a fundamental level in the sense that you know a lot of steroids that you are taken have crazy side effects they're going to raise your estrogen they're going to destroy your endocrine system and all of this but the whole point people liked it is well it's not very strong on the lifting end blah 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 but in terms of the health end it's really good for you so you can kind of become like a half superhero but that's absolute nonsense because as soon as you introduce something like anavar into your system your natural testosterone production is going to shut off right because your body's going to think well i have enough of this in my system already i mean maybe not specific to anavar but i mean this is what happens when you introduce too much of anything into your system your body goes well i've got too much of that so i'm just going to shut it down so you've got to be aware of that right and some steroids are absolutely going to shut off your own testosterone production so do you know what happens when you come off that steroid all of a sudden you have no testosterone in your your system but your estrogen levels are probably going to be through the roof because you've screwed up your endocrine system and then you're going to have an estrogen dominant environment and that just comes with a bunch of stuff that you don't want to get into you just don't so even though this is apparently a mild steroid if you take it you are putting your health at risk now i'm not saying that thousands 
if not millions of people haven't taken it and they've been managed to get through it safely. But I also know some people, I don't know them, but I've read stories of people that take it because they have read these anecdotes that it is fine. They ignore all these symptoms that they are suffering. Like you can put anything in your mouth and all of a sudden you're going to start feeling like crap. And you just have to accept that's what it is. Don't push through just because you want to have some abs. It's not worth having abs if you're not at 100% health. And also you don't know what you're taking either. Never forget that. Unless you are getting it from a pharmaceutical company and you know it is 100% accurate, you could be putting anything in your mouth. Honestly, go onto forums and read about this stuff. The amount of people that say, oh, I tried to order Anavar and I got Debo, 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 Debo. I don't know about you, but if you've ever researched Debo, it sounds like the most horrendous drug ever. It really, really does. Like your blood pressure spikes and it destroys your liver, as does Anavar. Any kind of oral steroid you're taking is going to be just like a toxic demon on your liver, which means you've got to make sure you're taking liver support pills. But do you know about that if you just do a quick one-two over the internet? No, you don't. Because again, these are medicines. These are things that have been designed to help people with real problems, with real medical issues. But as soon as you figure out, oh my gosh, they can be used for, again, turning me into this sort of Wonder Woman Hulk kind of guy, that's what I want to do. So be smart. Figure out what you have to do beforehand. Figure out what you have to do during it. Figure out what you have to do afterwards. And if you are taking it for the love of everything, if you need some kind of a surgery or you need anything that ties directly into a life and death situation, just tell someone. Ain't no one going to be arresting you if you're popping one of these pills. If you're like a drug lord... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're probably going to get arrested, but just weigh it up in your head, right? Wait, like if you were going to do a bungee jump and the, the bungee jump instructor said, well, I'm not going to tell you if the cord's attached. You'll be like, no, you need to tell me whether the cord's attached. And it's the same here. Just tell your doctor everything that's going on to your system. So maybe they can do some extra tests and make sure you're going to be okay. Clembuterol is the one that I think is, is more of an issue though, because again, please do go and do the proper research because while I have the information, I'm not very good at trying to extrapolate it and pass it on to you because it's not my bag. I'm just not smart in that way but essentially what bodybuilders or people that go to the gym use it for is when they want to sort of go on a cut they want to get lean and they want to burn a bunch of fat because it has anabolic properties in it and it will allow you to do that but in terms of what it was actually created for it's an anti-asthma medication and it's meant to help people that have breathing disorders which is why a lot of people that take clenbuterol and i know i will not name people because that would not be fair but i am well aware of someone that did try to do it a long ass time ago when i was quite young too and it's the most terrifying thing ever and they had side effects where they just shook all the time because their heartbeat was going at like 120 beats a minute and that just sounds absolutely terrifying to me and again i want to make it very clear that i am not here telling you well, I'm kind of telling you not to do it. But what I'm saying is it's completely up to you what you put in your system. It's your body and you're allowed to do whatever the hell you want. The big thing that I want to push is ensuring that you know what's going in there and you take the right steps in order to make sure that you're okay. Because this stuff is happening and it's happening all the time. I have chatted to people who are very young, admittedly, so their life experience is low, who just think you put a bunch of pills and you inject a bunch of stuff into your ass and all of a sudden you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. But that's not true. Even if you just go down the testosterone route, which in many ways is very safe because obviously it's a natural hormone that you already have in your body and you're just going to increase your levels if you increase them too high depending on what your dna says again not the right term at all but you are going to start producing estrogen and some people can put a bunch of tests in their ass and they'll be fine but other people can't even look at a needle without all of a sudden walking around like a massive ball of estrogen and you want your hormones to be balanced of course you do you want to have the right amount of testosterone you want to have the right amount of estrogen you want to have the right amount of progesterone you want to have the right amount of prolactin I and mean, we could do this all day cortisol all of these things are going on within your system and while, yeah, if you have like a high, massive, over-the-top level of testosterone, you're probably going to feel great for a good couple of weeks. But when the other side does start coming in, you're going to be bloated, you're going to be tired, you're going to be covered in acne, things are going to go on with your nipples. You don't want anything like that in your life. You just don't, because all of a sudden it's going to start screwing with you mentally, and it's going to start screwing with you physically. And look, there's every chance that it turns out it was nothing to do with those drugs. They did say they did a toxicology report and they found them in there. Maybe she had a dodgy heart. Maybe it was nothing to do with it. Maybe it was something to to do with it but it's not just i'm not just using this as one specific example i have seen this time and time again in my own life as well there are super super young dudes that are just popping this stuff with candy and they don't even know what it is and they don't even know that if you are going to do testosterone you need to make sure that you are focusing on other things it's not just oh more testosterone equals i'm a massive bodybuilder now 
it's not, it just isn't, it's just not. And you want it to be true because you think it's a nice secret pathway into dreamland, right? But it's not a secret pathway into dreamland. It just isn't. You have to go into all of this kind of education, all of this kind of stuff in order to try and balance it out. And I just, well, personally, I don't think it's worth it. It doesn't mean that you don't think it's worth it, but go in knowing everything. That's, I'm going to keep stressing that message. Go in knowing everything and be honest with the people you need to be honest about it with. And just do my due diligence when it comes to the clinic. They also said that uh, upon delivering the sign form to the doctor, she he did ask this lady, again you know about any substance use and she verbally re verbally reiterated that she hadn't so they have that all written down and uh, yeah like she was a fitness competitor she had won campiona wellness and miss why hercules in 2019 she was a swimsuit model a swimsuit model too so and she was undergraduate right so she was doing it all she had the fitness she had the smarts and you know all she wanted to do was not sweat which i can understand i used to sweat loads as well and it was embarrassing i still well it's really hot today if i go out but, you know, would you rather sweat a lot? Well, it's not, it's not really about the sweat. If you want to go and sort your sweating problem out, go and sort it out. If you need surgery for anything, go and have the surgery. But just be upfront about this stuff. We'll leave it there. I know I'm sure there's much more educated people watching Miller. That was a terrible description. And you're right. It was. I understand it, again, when I read it. But I can't. I'm not a teacher. <laughs> I'm not a teacher, which is why I don't talk about it. And which is why I pimped out to other people who would do it much better than me. But if you really feel like you must do this, just be smart with it and think about the big picture. I know it's never going to happen to me. Everybody thinks it's not going to happen to them. And surprise, surprise, it always happens to them because it happens to everyone. Very sadly, we are just mortal beings. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Hit the bell, ding, ding. So you know when other videos are going live, there is another video on the screen or will be in one second. I got a bunch of stuff. You know it. Simon.miller.bigcartel.com for merch. Patreon.com for Simon316. Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Greg Doucette's Power 13 Cookbook. The best thing you can do is go into the description below and just give it a click and see if anything takes your fancy. Hopefully didn't come across like a high horse jackass. Probably did, but I've done it now and it is the end. I'll see you soon.